picked up over 75,000 cells. Beating pop princess Ava Max's Sweet But Psycho to the top spots. Sausage Roll also knocked megastar Ariana Grande into third place. It's not the first novelty single to steal the number one slot. In 1993, Mr. Blobby snatched the Christmas crown from Take That. And in 2000, Bob the Builder beat boy band Westlife to the top. This year, it seems all we really want for Christmas is sausage roll. Not it's bad. a great song. So good. We're and now sausage doing sausage rolls in it. What more could you want by Mark Coyle? <laughs> Richard Arnold's popped in as well. Good oh, morning to you. <laughs> Two sausage rolls, basically. How? I mean, congratulations. Thanks very much. What an achievement. How are you feeling at this stage then to have got the title, that coveted title of festival number one? It's, it's mad. It's been the craziest week of my life. <laughs> um, I, I can't thank everyone enough that downloaded it and streamed it and, I don't know, just helped us. <coughs> I never had any idea that we would. I mean, talk us, uh, talk us uh, about the artistic kind of, you know, development of this. How you came up with the idea of... <laughs> <laughs> well, I was eating one day. Yeah. Um, no, you know, I, I've, I've been a... a sausage roll fan for many years which uh, i think people that follow my blog are aware of um somebody tweeted me this idea about six months ago and i downloaded the original song played it to my little boy who started dancing around the living room Aww. and i thought you know what maybe maybe i should do this here. did maybe you have to ask permission from starship user i'm just wondering how that that email went I, gonna do your song yeah. changing the words to sausage roll i don't know are you it, happy about it i don't know how it all went i don't really are they still alive i don't know if that's rude <laughs> yes yeah. I, I don't know uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe they're just finding out now. Yeah, yeah. I know that we've tried higher than they originally did. I think they got to number 12. So we, we've done better than they did. Well, the they should be pleased then, in that case, that the music is number one. Exactly. And I'm loving the fact, because you, you obviously did quite a lot of work changing the words here to be suitable. And my favourite line, I think, if you've never had one and don't recognise the taste, it's a cylindrical bit of pork wrapped in a puff pastry paste. <laughs> it's highly <laughs> informative. <laughs> this is pure it's highly educational. informative. Yeah. 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 Could it ever have been an Arctic roll? Um, no, never, no. And the suit, obviously, this is now your general daily wear. I've not taken this off in days. I'm Course sleeping in this. This is, Course yeah, I'm going to renew my wedding vows if she'll let me in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've <don't>, done <laughs> What have your wife made all of, about all of this then? Um, you know what? She, she sort of goes along with a lot of my crazy ideas, but, um, yeah, no, we've had a lot of fun doing it and it's all been for. A I mean, that's the point. So there's, there's, there's something sort of meaningful apart from sausage behind this, isn't there? That you wanted to raise money for this particular charity. Yeah. Why this particular charity? Yeah, the Trestle Trust. Um, they they do sort of yeah, food banks here in the UK. Uh, me and my wife a couple of years ago, when we first had kids, came very close to needing a food bank. My wife's mum helps out at the Trestle Trust food bank and was singing about food. So just you know, everything sort of made sense to us. And it's Christmas, so you know, we're we're so pleased to. Have, Raise the money and awareness for those guys, you know. What do you think the winner of the X Factor feels like? Ariana Grande or any of those I, people that may have been number one? Pitch the boat. <laughs> I, hope they, I hope they're Googling what's a sausage roll. Um, you know, the Americans. And, yeah, you know, hopefully they all, I don't know. I've tweeted them. I've, I've not had a response yet. Maybe we can do a duet or something in the new year. Maybe next Christmas there'll be all kind of meat products singled out. You never know, Pork do you? Pork pies. And, Pork pies, yeah. pasties. No. Are you oh. thinking of a follow-up song? Th there's talk of a beige album, no. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't think anyone needs to hear any more of my singing voice, but uh, <laughs> you never know. You never know what will happen. So you're a blogger, and it's a, it's a great blog, and it comes from the fact that you were a dad, are a dad, yeah. and suddenly saw life very differently. Yeah, I just started it because I had no idea about being a dad. And I, I initially thought I'd do it and try and make some mates online that were going through a similar life experience. and. Um, it's just sort of gone from strength to strength and now we do a weekly video about sort of parenting and normally me winding up my missus but yeah it's um it's, it's just good fun we try and just make people laugh and there's so much doom and gloom going on in the world well, i've got some life hacks one of them was it buying a toolbox to convert to your son's lunch box that's, <laughs> that's right yeah there's, there's a whole host of sort of dad hacks and life hacks for being a parent we released a book all about it so yeah it's uh it's been a mad year give us your top tips Top tips on being a dad at Christmas. Um, 
buy them what they want. Buy them what they want. Buy them what they want. Stop them quiet. Because we're also yeah. talking about Christmas Eve boxes. I don't know whether you don't in your family. Yeah. And matching Christmas pyjamas. I'm just wondering, are you all going to be wearing, you know, matching sausage roll outfits? I can see you in your family photo this year. I, we haven't got sausage roll outfits, but they have got matching pyjamas. Oh, oh lovely. Now, this is a challenger because it just stand up for a second. How tall it? Look at I'm this. Six foot eight. He is six foot eight. In heels, look at that. Oh. You're six foot, aren't you, Richard? I, I've got a head in a good light on six foot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a bit of muscle <laughs> wasted. You know, right so, so, how can you get pajamas for you and for your little one? How, how can you get them in a sausage roll print? Oh, just at all. Just, oh, match? I think she's saying you're a big old unit. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. I, I've left that all up to my wife. She's in uh, charge of all that. She wouldn't trust me to, to, with something so important and anything. That's like, that. like a dad at Christmas. That's, yeah. that's the message. <laughs> <laughs> get them what they want, leave it to the missus. Well. You'll get through some <laughs> The great thing about coming in here on Christmas Eve, though, is we get all of this stuff that comes in, all the usual tap we get at Christmas. We skim it and take it all back home. Hey, yeah. And I'll, 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 brilliant. I mean, even nicer thing is, because yours is about sausage rolls, we have an amazing sausage roll display, so everybody's lunch is going to be like a sausage roll buffet. <laughs> yeah. You do. have got a good display. I've been hard at You have eaten about half five. So what's it for his breakfast? Are you sick of sausage rolls now? Uh, I've had a fair few this week. We'll, we'll, we'll get, leave it at that. I, I, I won't ever say I'm fed up of them, but um, yeah, I'll probably lay off them for a few days. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. It's brilliant to see you. Thanks very much. You are literally number one for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I am number one. Come on. Come on. Come on. That is going to be good. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. There's hope for us all, Charlotte. I know. Yeah. What, we'll do one next year, shall we? Can't we? Yeah, why not? We we're trying to work out if we got everybody we'd ever met to buy one. Yes. We might have a chance. We might do. Let's do it. And in that outfit as well. Actually, we've had lots of people oh. getting in. Uh, and it's not just the turkey comparisons that people have been making photos. But Dynasty Crystal Carrington, oh. my hero, oh. someone sent in a picture that looks uncannily oh, similar. Have we got it? I think no. we've got it, have we? Oh, let's oh, have a look. Oh, oh. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Here it is. There you go. You know what? Even the hair. That is my dream ever. look. Well done. Thank you for sending that. Oh, there we go. The director's having a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, sorry, one cup of that in at last minute. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Simon. Don't really like... realise that you're doing here at all. We like to have a bit of Christmas Eve, don't Just we? Just have a sausage roll. Now, it's 7.28. <laughs> sausage roll and get over it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> sausage roll for everyone. <laughs> exactly. Competition time now, and Andy is spreading his festive cheer to the GMV team this morning. He's brought us presents already. I know. Crackers, the whole shebang. The poor director that Kate's talking about is this man here. <laughs> I mean, I'm